Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am bringing you guys a commentary video I generally don't do videos like this just because when people do videos like this they're generally playing a game like COD or CSGO and personally I don't play a lot of COD or CSGO but now that Overwatch is out and I do enjoy playing Overwatch I figured I'm gonna do a commentary and I'm gonna play a little bit of Overwatch so relating back to my COD and CSGO not wanting to play them I wanted to make a video just talking about the fact that COD is legitimately dead to me. I do not want to play COD anymore. There was a time when all I wanted to do was play COD and that time passed so long ago. People have been saying that Infinite Warfare is the end of COD and they're not going to buy Infinite Warfare, they're going to buy Battlefield 1. But honestly, I feel like COD lost its spark to me a couple games ago actually I feel like it might have been advanced warfare probably I did really enjoy ghosts and ghost was the last cod I really enjoyed I don't know why I even got black ops 3 I was hoping that maybe Treyarch could pull it back since I did really enjoy black ops 2 and they just didn't so I'm honestly I, I was really disappointed with black ops 3 at first it was fun at first it was everything I hoped it would be but then I realized I just don't want to play cod and I don't know if that is because of the game itself. Like, maybe it's just the game that is not as good anymore. Or maybe it's just the fact that I want more in a game than just, you know, playing the same match every single time. And that's one thing that COD has always been. COD has always been the same exact thing every match. So I don't know what it is now that's so different and so... Something that's just not appetizing to me anymore. I should not be in this guy's face like this. I'm running away. But that's something that's it's just not appetizing to me anymore. I want more out of a game. I want more out of my $60. And now that I'm older and... I don't know. I feel like... COD at one point was all I wanted to do. And it's just not that anymore. I think it also has something to do with the community. I remember playing Black Ops 2 and Ghosts with just the greatest people I've ever met in my life. Like, the greatest people that I've ever met, I met playing Ghosts and Black Ops 2. Like, I met amazing people. And I feel like now I can't join a lobby of Call, Call of Duty without having some guy tell me to get back in the kitchen. Like, the community is just so full of trolls. And there's just, it's so hard to find someone who's just legitimately down to earth in the community nowadays and just even on Twitter and YouTube and you know people who you know do make YouTube videos or stream COD it's, it's them people too like you see people who make CSGO videos and then they just sit there and they talk crap about everyone and they make videos shaming other people just for views and that's what the cod community has become it's become people hurting other people or like keemstar like all this drama that doesn't need to be there is was created just simply for views and it's all cod and csgo and just people i just feel like it's that that's kind of ruined the community i don't know how you guys feel but i just feel like it's just, it's over with, it's done. I really enjoy this game because this game is more than just whoever shoots first. Like I, like I said earlier, this game is, there's so many different characters and ways to play. I mean, I'm playing this guy wrong right now because I'm, I shouldn't really be in their faces playing a sniper, but it's working for me. So we're just going with it. So many different ways to play this game and it's not just the same thing every match if i want something a little bit different i'll play a different character you know what i mean like that's i feel like i got more to my money playing this game than i have ever playing call of duty and like i said before it's not just the people you play with it's people like as a twitch streamer when i stream cod i get so many trolls in my chat I can't even keep them away. If I hit 
20 viewers. It's mostly just a bunch of trolls trying to get on my last nerve. And I, when I stream Overwatch and I hit 20 viewers, I, it's, a, it's a chat full of people who are legitimately like, oh, try playing this character, and oh, we'll try doing this, and oh, let's see how good you do playing like this, and oh, I, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not just, oh, get back in the kitchen, trolls, you know what I mean? And this video is kind of like a butthurt video. Like, I'm making this video just because I'm, I'm kind of butthurt. Like, everything that I've, you know, everything I grew up knowing, like, playing video games and everything that I've, or all the people that I've met, I'm just, I'm, I'm upset, you know? Because it's not the way it used to be, and it's really sad to me. Because, like I said, I've met so many cool people in the COD community. It's really sad to me that it's over. But there's so many great things coming. Like, if you guys watched E3 the way I did, by the way, you guys, I made an E3 video and it was a mess. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. If you guys seen E3, then you guys know how many good things are coming. And it's, it's not COD. It's not COD that everyone's looking forward to this year. It's Horizon Zero Dawn, which is something I'm looking forward to. Or, you know, like, whatever game you guys are looking forward to. There's so many great things coming that, I mean, I don't want to be sad that the COD community is dead. But then again, I am sad because it's so many, so much time and so many years that I've put into COD that it's just really disappointing it's gone now and doesn't mean as much to people. But there's my rant for the day, you guys. I kind of... I don't know, I wasn't really planning on saying all of that, but I guess when you're playing video games, just start talking, not really think about what you're saying. So, you guys just got deep, dark, sad thoughts with Wither, yeah. We should make a video like that, a video series like that, like, deep thoughts with Wither. <laughs> guys, let's do it, oh my gosh, deep thoughts with Wither. I earned a trophy, look at that. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I made this E3 video and I talked and talked and talked and talked about all these new games coming out. You guys, I literally talked for 47 minutes. I think the overall video was like 47 minutes long before it was edited. And if you guys have Sony Vegas and you don't have a super, super, super beefy computer, you guys know that putting a 47 minute video on Sony Vegas is a crisis waiting to come like that was awful it kept crashing i couldn't even edit the video by the time i got it done edited it literally was an all day process because of how many times it crashed and i had to start like 15 minutes back it was so awful you guys and i finally get it rendered right Finally is rendering. I go downstairs. I eat a cupcake. I'm like, that was awful. I don't ever want to do that again. And I come back upstairs and my computer flipping crashed, you guys. I, I'm not even kidding, you guys. I cried. I laid on the bed. I just cried. So yes, that's why you guys didn't get an E3 overview video. Because I was not trying to edit that crap again. Legitimate tears, guys. Big fat tears just running down my face. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below about everything I said. Like, do you guys think the COD community is dead? Do you guys think that there are better things coming? Or are you guys looking forward to Infinite Warfare? Are you guys looking forward to Battlefield? I just personally am not anymore. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Ciao.